Hello and welcome back folks. You're joining us at a rather boring stage of our history. We don't have any plans for the future other than recovering, finishing off these rebels which are proving to be quite a nuisance. Now if you watched the previous episode you'll have seen me going to war with Brunei, a completely armyless Brunei. Now, I couldn't understand why they had no troops, so I've done a bit of research online, and all I could find was a forum post. From what I can gather, and this wasn't conclusive, um, it can either be seen as a bug, in which the nation sees that its it, the nation arranges a peace, decides it doesn't need its armies anymore, disbands them, but then decides that actually having an army might be quite useful, so it rebuilds them all. And it can get stuck in a loop of doing this. So, in that case, most definitely a bug. I feel a bit guilty for exploiting it. The other theory is the way it happens is that basically the economy, the nation can be having economical difficulties. It, when people have observed it happening and they've switched to the countries to have a look at what's going on, they've discovered that the nation's taken out loans and they are having difficulties, so the troops are disbanded just to save money and get the economy in order. Which I kind of would feel better about if that were the case. Um, it would be a game mechanic rather than a bug, but I couldn't find anything definitive about it so I'll just have to <coughs> hope it doesn't occur again and we'll gloss over that period of our past. History is written by the victor so yeah. The great brave nation of Brunei fielded millions upon millions of troops but our brave soldiers defeated them all. That's what happened. <laughs> So yeah, there's not really much I can talk about at this stage. We've managed to get our stability sorted and we're now focusing entirely on government tech. We only have two years to wait before the national idea will become available. I'm still undecided about what to pick there, so... Aha! Fantastic. That's one set of rebels taken care of. Okay, you guys hold on. We've got a much better way for you to get there. Okay, the rebels are leaving, which is good for us. We can begin the siege immediately. War in Japan. How are our friends getting along here? Hello, new friends. They're building a fairly decent sized army for a one province miner. Unsurprisingly, given the size of the city and the tax it's producing. In fact, that's making me quite envious. I think I might like a piece of that. <laughs> but unfortunately, not for some time. On the plus side, we have now finally fully reinforced our armies, so we can look into recruiting some more troops. However, we're running at a deficit. We're not minting anything at the moment. Trying to bring down the inflation by a tiny amount each year, and focusing all of our resources on research.
Oh, that's interesting. Lana have expanded quite aggressively into Lanzhang. Like I was saying, I don't want there to be a regional power here, but if there's going to be one, I'd be happier if it was if we were separated from it at the moment we are. Looking back, I've found that it's times like this where nothing's really happening, but I have a tendency to ramble about completely inconsequential things, so I'm sorry, I don't want to bore you guys. Okay, corruption is one of the most common and frequent factor of political and economic life. Never in history was this more prominent than in the times of the feudal regimes. Now we can try to eradicate the problems, which will destabilize the country slightly, or we can ignore it and gain free inflation. I'd like to think that reducing our inflation was something you guys are all on board with at the moment, so yeah, we'll take the stability hit. And we're so close to getting a new idea that I'm not even going to bother with investing in it. I'm going to have to wait the two years for it to happen. Okay, yeah, and these rebels are completely taken care of, so we shall begin the sieging. I know I'm inviting disaster by <laughs> reducing their uh, budget, but here we go. It reminds me of SimCity 2000, if anyone here is old enough to remember that game, or have played it simply for academic reasons. I'm going to see the army as the transport minister, who would always freak out and shout at you in capital letters if you tried to reduce expenditure. You can't cut back on funding! You will regret this! Just without the C accent. I wish I could show you guys Europe at the moment. In my experience, whenever you play a nation away from Europe, some really crazy stuff tends to happen. I mean, that's the most exciting thing about this game. They try to make it as historically accurate as possible, for the start date at least. But once the game starts, anything can happen. And I've seen some pretty crazy stuff. The most common situation when not playing with playing without lucky nations is Scotland tends to somehow defeat England. England starts as a much larger nation. And yeah, they can eventually go on to form Great Britain. It's kind of hard to imagine with a more Scottish emphasis, I suppose. But yeah, you can have nations like Wales or Cornwall be released and then go on to invade parts of Europe and get a colonial empire. It's, <laughs> it's it can be quite funny. I mean, it's a simulator, so anything can happen, and <laughs> it usually does. Okay, there's a breach in the fort, so back to attacking. We're not getting anywhere, so I'll stop that. We're just wasting manpower needlessly. Aha! Majafit are trying to retake Bali. Well, we'll come to their aid, of course. There's nothing. There's nothing to be gained by allowing them to retake the province. In fact, is this connected via land? Can we block them off through our ships? No, we can't. What kind of army do they have?
4,000 infantry, 2,000 cavalry. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some troops behind to finish off the... Okay, <laughs> to finish off the siege that has now just finished. <laughs> Fantastic timing. And we'll head down here and see if we can... Ooh, ooh, okay. Right, Pegu have joined the war. Which has completely destroyed any plans I may have had. What we're going to be doing is defending the northern border. Sorry guys, but <laughs> you're on your own. I suppose we could use the troops from Sukadane. Naturally it would <laughs> follow that rebels, rebels will spawn immediately after they leave the province, but I really don't want to lose this country. Ah, the idea forms, but not now. We'll come back to you. Hold on guys, reinforcements are coming. Reinforcements which may arrive too late. We need to win this fight. We have nowhere to retreat. Here come Pegu with a smaller force, so hopefully we'll be okay. Two front wars, never a good thing. But yeah, we seem to have the advantage here. Now, whilst they're retreating, I'm going to try and take their capital. Okay, yeah, we've successfully fended them off here, and they are retreating north. Good. I'd hate to have seen them retreat south and not have to chase them. Okay, good news is our troops can be reinforced from here. Bad news is they have ex extremely more troops than we do. Okay, full stability. Just saying, but some help would be appreciated right about now. What did I tell you? <laughs> Some rebels have spawned. Six of them, in fact. Naturally, they're aligned with Brunei as well, so we could possibly lose this province, which is unacceptable. I'd be much happier losing Bali than I would be losing this territory here, so... Let's see if we can't take our smaller force and take it back. Pegu are on the move again with a larger force this time. So our first stop will be to reinforce our troops here. Right now we've got a good defensive position and I don't want to lose this. That's fine, that doesn't concern us.
The problem we're facing here is that we don't have enough... We have less troops than there are rebels. Here they come again. They're only wielding about 5,000 troops a game. Hopefully our equal number will be enough. God damn it. Ayufar are the other neighbours we have. They're joining in this war. And Champa are joining them too. Okay. Hmm. Frustrating indeed. <laughs> okay, more war. Come here. But they have not joined Alliance. You can't really blame them. They're kind of in the their death rows. I can only carry five regiments. Ah, oh, I must have lost some transports in the previous conflict. Okay, I really can see us losing this province. When a territory is owned by the rebels, it's <laughs> it can just flip to their nation at any time. So. Even though I don't expect this to be successful, I've got to try. Their siege is at 100%. This is a prime example of why you don't want to be involved in two front wars. The Aviets have joined in, so once again, practically the entire <laughs> time the region is at war with us. Yeah, okay. We are being pursued. <laughs> and just to make things worse, our Sultan has committed an absolute faux pas today in front of the court and a few foreign dignitaries. The repercussions of this will take years to repair. And we lose stability. Okay, I need to pull these guys back. Yep, Sean have now joined in. Now this territory is at risk of flipping at any time. <laughs> Just a slight overview of the situation here. Last time we were in this situation we had a pretty powerful ally in the form of Brunei. Unfortunately they're no longer able to help for obvious reasons. I just need these guys to hold on long enough for me to reinforce them. Now we're already going Perak, come here. They don't seem to be pursuing thankfully. So a quick group of all our forces, and we should be able to plough north. We can only hope that we can finish these wars quickly before the province flips. Okay, that's a much bigger force, but... to wait one month to f not fully reinforce them but to 
We'll get an extra 1,200 troops if we just wait till December. That's plenty of time. Okay. Can I bargain with these guys? Okay, we can't negotiate um, until we're at peace, so there's no peaceful solution here. I really should have recruited a general. We've got a pretty high tradition, so... Oh goodness, that was a lot of minting to do just to break even. And here come Chamba. <laughs> See if we can't at least damage their navy a little. It's not much, but I'll take anything I can get right now. Are you fleeing north? Well, how did I know that would happen? <laughs> Hopefully I can take advantage of the fact that these guys have been assaulting the fort and have practically no morale right now. Okay, I've got you. I caught you at least. They will be reinforced by the time we arrive, but hey-ho. It's a pretty good general. declared war. Weren't we? Didn't we have a truce? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> In this case, the rebels may actually prove useful. Ah, uh, no. I'm imagining they could fight their troops, but no, they won't. I didn't take into account the strain penalty here, so it's going to be close. But we get it. We've won. Well, we've not won. <laughs> we're still in a terrible situation, but things could be worse. Yep, we just sunk two ships. That's something at least. Will you take a piece? No. What if I called you the winner? No. Money? Oh, I've got no money to give you. Oh dear. Deary, deary me. In fact, no. Give us time to reinforce and at least interrupt their plans a little. No doubt these guys will be marching straight back. I can't help that. Ah, uh, here you are, Brunei. You know what, I was going to do a big long speech about the different national ideas I ha I could pick, but right now I don't think I have much of a choice, I'm going to have to go for military drill. You can change your national idea at any time, so I may do that, but right now we need every single possible advantage we can get. Because as you can see, we're in a bad way. They're already returned. <coughs> <laughs> Fantastic, more enemies. Come on, Lana, you can join in too. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh yes, I made war with everybody. Okay, good. Where are you running off to? Oh, 
Okay, that's one army wiped out. Hopefully that will be enough to at least get this nation out of the war. But no, they're not interested. Sent us a thousand troops. That's almost insulting. The reason I'm not going for these troops here is the fact that I don't know. Their morale needs to be replenished, and we're running very low in men. So yeah, it's going to take be much harder to re reinforce our armies. However, I think this siege is actually going to take is actually going to be far more successful given the size of their army. So if I can damage them at all, I should do so. How are I doing? They're being sieged. They're finished. I'm going to be chasing these guys down now. If I can get them out of the war in any way possible, that's only a good thing. Oh, the tension. <laughs> we beat them to it. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Just goes to show you the difference a good general can make. We had a bonus to our stats, which I've forgotten. Hang on. <laughs> Maneuver, that's the one. So we beat them to the province. We got the province. And hopefully, they're willing to peace out. In fact, they'll even concede defeat. So a nice little prestige bump. But we haven't taken care of Pegu yet, of course. However, <laughs> the problems lie to our south. Okay, ballet have been annexed. That was pretty much a no-brainer. That was going to happen. Will you take a piece now you have Bally? No. No, you're not even going to concede. Except for my concession. <sighs> I haven't seen Khmer involved in the war, so... No, these guys are pretty much committed. <laughs> I can't afford to hang around sieging this province, not with two lots of troops here. I need to go down and hope for the best. Because that seems to be working great so far. For some reason I only have six transports so I can't get my whole army down here. And the last thing I want to do is break them up. However, we've been given an opportunity to strike at their navy. Even if Brunei have come to intercept us. Right, okay. This is going to be close. And they have a commander, which it means it's practically a foregone conclusion. Naval commanders are far more effective than land generals, in my experience. If you look here, their manoeuvre score is considerably higher than ours. 
that basically measures how effective the fleet is. It also means that we may not actually be able to cross the sea here, so it seems facing the army in Ligur is the only option available to us. <laughs> it's another thing I love about this game. Just when you think everything's going well, <laughs> it can all turn around and start to fall apart on you. Yet yeah, here we are, more troops coming in. Hmm. Seems the only real option available to us at the moment is to do what we can here. I'm going to have to pull out. I'll possibly lose some ships. Oh no, no, um, well, a cog was sunk. Yeah, they've taken control here. Please take peace. <laughs> Be interested to see what kind of concessions will be necessary to get out of this war intact. Absolutely no one's interested in taking a piece yet. I mean, they won't even accept the territory that we own. They own the province of Minangkabau. Our friendly <laughs> neighbours of Peku only have one province without a fort, so if we can beat their army here, it's possible we can take this province and score a piece. As you've seen though, anything can happen. And if I can just at least stop you. Da da I, I didn't realise the navy was still there, damn it. Okay, now will you take a piece? Even if it's a white piece, but you won't. They will accept the concession of defeat. Which isn't great, it will cost me prestige, but at least it will keep my northern border free of enemies. At least. <laughs> at least won't be neighbouring enemy. Oh! <laughs> Just what we need. and retreat again. We didn't lose any ships, so that, there's always that. Right now, if our province is occupied, we are going to be having increased war exhaustion, which can very easily destroy our country. Come on, chaps. A peace offer? <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll take it. White peace. Okay, they only just entered this war, so obviously they didn't want to stay in it. And that's fantastic news for me. Again, they may not have been a threat themselves, but <laughs> it makes me feel better. want. 
Now they'll take territory. Will they take money? Did they really want... Ah, I could release a nation here. That'd be a terrible idea. Okay, logically, our choices here are extremely limited. We're going to be completely unable to cross the ter cross the sea here because their navy. The AI's navy has a sixth sense, basically. No matter where it is in the world, if it sees you trying to send troops across the ocean, it will pounce on them. I can try and be cheeky and send my navy out. Hopefully they'll chase it, and then I can try and get my troops across. But even then, I don't know if that's going to be enough to fight back any of the armies. Another siege lost. And in fact, they're crossing the water here, so I do have one option. I can try and beat them back, at least. No, no, there they go. Are they heading for home? Or is that too much to hope for? Just to demonstrate. Out they come straight away. And our passage is blocked. So, who's going to be our sacrificial cog? Please, please welcome the Pulau Tioman. The hope of our nation rests on his shoulders. We're going to hope the Navy of Brunei take the bait, but before that, let's see what we've been offered. White piece. Oh, that's music to my ears, that is. Okay, let's go. They're taking the bait. And they reached him already? How was that possible? Oh, damn. Okay, our peasants are tired of our war, and our soldiers are tired of the war. This may have some repercussions on our capabilities in finishing this war in a positive way. Well, that's pretty much <laughs> self-explanatory. We can ignore the peasants and gain even more war exhaustion. Or we can lose tradition. Oh, neither are good options here. Each point of war exhaustion is a point of revolt risk, so I'm going to have to take the tradition. Rebels are even more dangerous here. At least we own this <laughs> land. Dive yet white piece? Great. Would any of you take white piece? Of course not. It's going to be deeply, deeply painful to have to... Oh! Oh, they will take money! That's very good to know, but unless we can get Brunei out of the war as well, they're just going to want that as well. Yeah, they're not interested in peace at any cost here. Oh, this is frustrating.
Okay, I know this could backfire, but the more people we can get out of the war, the better it will be for us. Now, and it still leaves Brunei, who are just bent on taking us, hurting us as much as they can. That's like a concession of defeat. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm not too sure how we're going to get out of this situation. I mean, I know we're going to lose land, but they're not... It they're not even willing to discuss taking what they have already. So, I'll call it for now, I'll have a think. Are there any pros out there who have an idea of how we can extricate ourselves from this absolute mess? Please, please, please share your wisdom. <laughs> Okay, yep, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.